Libra, oh Libra. What's up, baby? How are you? Uh, welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. This is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, how are you? I'm Mocha. Um, also, I would like to thank everyone for the likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them, as well as I do you. Um, this is for mid-month June from the 15th to the 30th, okay, 2018. This is just general, okay, for my Libra game. My sun, moon, and rising, and Venus, and cross pressures of the sign of Libra. Okay, um, if you need a personal reading, all of that information can be found within the description. So, I, y'all know I don't like long intros. So we finna rock, all right? Um, y'all please um, comment, let me know, po the tea, be family. So let's get it, all right? So I've already shuffled, but I will again, okay? This is for Venus, cross washers of Libra, for mid-month June, 18 to the end of June, okay? Y'all better stop crying over spilled milk for y'all who just left somebody. Y'all got new love. Divinely covered love, okay? After possibly finding out some secrets, possibly regarding a Scorpio or a Pisces, could just be a water sign. It also includes cancer. Some of y'all could also be meeting a water sign. But some of y'all, I feel like it's going to catch you off guard. I feel like while you busy working and rebuilding and trying to make ends meet and just kind of pick yourself up, you know, to the things that you know, I do see that some of y'all could be getting a message from a, oh shit, from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or again, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is definitely somebody that you know, possibly someone who has you in a three-party situation, or this could come in after finally got about a three-party situation, okay? I do see a lot of y'all have new love coming in mid-month June, okay? Possibly again after some secrets have been revealed, possibly regarding the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Pisces and the Scorpio. I strongly feel that um a lot of y'all have been working towards love and working towards making relationship work or trying to renew a relationship, especially if you are already dealing with the water sign. I do see after secrets being revealed, and I do see it's going to be some form of messages. You could be looking through someone's phone. Or this could be the other person with you, Libra, if you're keeping secrets that's regarding the water sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could also be involved in a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Um, I strongly feel like for some of y'all, this is going to be after thinking that you were renewing it, that you're starting over with somebody from scratch. And it's going to hurt. For some of y'all, okay, some of y'all are going to be getting karmic justice, possibly from a water sign. I feel like if you've been married to a water sign or you have children with a water sign and maybe you separated, you feel like this person is hiding money, that shit's going to come to the forefront, okay? Especially if you have a family with this person and they're trying to be petty by not doing what's right with y'all kids. That shit is going to be coming to the forefront. Mother Karma is on the move and she ain't playing no games. I do see some of y'all could actually have a Libra um, offer, another Libra offering you a cup of love. I do see this is someone who you possibly know from your past. This could be a past soulmate, but I feel like the issue with this person is that they have three party fucking energy as well. And so I feel like trust issues and communication is going to be stopping this union. That's the only thing that could possibly stop this union. Libra, it pretty much the ball is in your court, what you want to do, okay? You're going to have to make a decision, a balanced decision, okay? Some of y'all are finding y'all balance. Um, and some of y'all are going to be finding y'all balance and piecing y'all balance back together, possibly during like work. I feel like some of y'all are using work as a form of therapy. Okay, if that make any sense, like, fuck it, I'm not going to cry with spilling from another crowd, but it's broken heart. I'm not going to worry about it. After you get this shit, a lot of y'all are just going to push forward, work, and start over and literally build from scratch, all right? And then as soon as you're building, some of y'all got a new fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, coming in the building, or a new water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, after possibly receiving karmic justice from one. Okay, and this is definitely going to be someone who you already know. Maybe you haven't been intimate with them. Maybe they were just a friend. Somebody's moving from the friend scale to the blue scale, okay? Me, my June, Ace of Cups. 
Six of Cups. Yeah, so it's definitely with someone you know or that you have children with. Some of y'all have um, a renewed love. This is the Ace of Cups, meaning that it was divinely given, okay? But it's going to be after a period of secrets and finding out about the seed and letting somebody go, okay? So please clarify the moon for my Libra's King of Pentacles. So some of y'all could be dealing with Capricorn towards Virgo, okay? And some of this, uh, these secrets could be surrounding maybe um this person had you in a third party situation possibly with another fight with a fire sign okay or it possibly be, it could have been with an uh with another libra or a water sign okay spirit please clarify the queen of wands okay i got the four of pentacles okay so for some of y'all some of y'all have some of y'all have a partner who just can't let go like no matter what y'all go through, this you at this point you tired of fucking apologies from this person, okay? And I do see some of y'all could be actually just moving on from this situation, taking yourself, releasing yourself out of three party ass energy. I feel like if you are already dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo says this person definitely got you in a three party situation with either water sign or a um earth sign, okay? Or it could be another fire sign. And that is gonna be coming to the forefront mid month June for my Libras. Whew. What's going on? Y'all just feel like y'all just losing all your shuffle, all your shuffle, because I had no issues with shuffling. I'm like, what's going on? I'm getting stuck and shit. People do not stay stagnant for nobody. Don't let your broken heart have you out here fucked up when you can't provide for your people, okay? And don't give nobody that much power over you. I feel to tell somebody that. Eight of Wands. Oh, jeez. Spirit, I'm going to reshuffle. Clarify. Reshuffle. Spirit, show me. Show me what this eight of one is about from my life. Show me. Show me. What is this eight of wands? Yeah, two of pentacles. So communication is going to be coming out. Um, me by June regarding somebody who's juggling, okay? And I feel like whoever this person is, they ain't even got their own shit together. They putting so much focus in the hiding shit that they fucking up their everyday life. And that's just 100. I feel like. This person's actions have completely changed. Yeah, definitely the towel, okay? So I feel like with this Eight of Pentacles, whatever it is that you've been working on, all right? And I feel, you see this full moon? I feel like to tell y'all to cancel full moon, the next full moon will be the cancel full moon. It's going to come about, I, I believe, anywhere between the 26th and the 29th of this month, okay, of June. Around the cancel full moon, or it could have been around the last new moon in Gemini, a lot of y'all actually could be finding out information regarding someone who you were building with, okay? And I feel like it's going to be very, very, very hurtful, but Spirit wants you to know to keep pushing, Libra, because divine love is on the way. For some of y'all who have left the job, no worries, that new new is on the way, okay? Especially if you were dealing with someone at work. Somebody's dealing with somebody at work who put them in a three-party situation, and because you stood up and defended your fucking self, now this person is being an asshole. What I tell you, Mother Kwama on, on the move, you just stand in your power, okay? You be true to yourself and just sit back and watch the show, okay? Because the divine got a funny way of doing stuff. Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups for my Libras? The Magician, okay? So some of y'all, there is going to be a turnaround in love. Whoever you walked away from, and I feel like you and this person have not been in communication at all. Maybe from your past. Maybe this person reaches out to you, especially if it's another Libra, okay? Or this could also be a fire sign. This person could reach out to you. And I feel like there could be a turnaround in this situation, but this person, and you have to be very adamant about what you will or will not accept. Okay, so, and I feel like for some of y'all, especially if it's a fire sign or another air sign, Libra to be exact, I feel like you love this person. You love the shit out of this person, but this person continuously puts you in three party situations. Also, I feel like it's the earth energy included in this. Um, strong emphasis on Virgo as well as Capricorn. Um, I feel like there could be a turnaround in this, okay? But it's going to be only what you allow yourself to accept, Libra, okay? What is this justice spirit? Show me this justice, the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So, again, there, Mother Karma. Karmic justice is going to be delivered mid-month June. Whatever it is that you've been working on, okay? Whatever it is that you're working on, the things that you are not that you are not aware of that are happening underneath the shadows and under them damn full moons, all the trifling, treacherous shit that people want the fuck to do, you're going to be finding that information out. But no worries, my dear. Do not sweat, my pet honey. Honey, honey, you have new beginnings coming with someone who you know. Only you can stand in your own way to deny this Libra, okay? Please clarify the six of cups for my Libras. Okay, yeah, eight of swords. Some of y'all going to be in y'all damn head. Get off of your head and on your feet. Do not stay in this energy behind it. And I tell y'all, 
I feel like somebody gonna be out just lose their damn rockers behind love. Let me tell you something. And this is a crazy way of, especially I'm talking to the person who feels like, what am I gonna do without this person? God forbid, and I don't speak this in nobody's life, okay? This is just some general, a general what if hypothetical. If this person got hit by a train to fuck tomorrow, okay, you're going to be hurt. But are your bills going to go behind because you hurt? Hell no. You're going to keep it pushing because you're a Libra. You're a cardinal. I'm an Aries. You're my fellow cardinal sign. Do you understand? We are movers and shakers. We don't cry with spill milk. We push through. You understand? Uh-uh. Don't be stuck behind love because you got something new coming. Only if you can just trust and not allow your past to deter your future, okay? Oh, goodness. It's three of swords. Tell me about the three of swords. Okay. What the hell? Ace of rods, okay? So some of y'all will have a new beginning. You got two aces and one reading, baby. Some of y'all are going to have a new passionate beginning with someone who you already know. You could have dated this person. Maybe you could have been friends with this person. But some of y'all is going to be a friend who's going to admit, hey, I don't want to be your friend. I want to be your boo. All right? But you know that this person is always in three-party shit. So you're like, hold up. Are you going to do that shit to me? You know, so don't stand in your own way because people people treat people how they allow themselves to be treated. You get what I'm saying? So maybe this person was with that three party shit, the other person who's involved in this energy. And maybe you like, no, fuck you, fuck that, fuck your mom and them, fuck your daddy. No, how about not? Okay? And that's how, as you should, okay? But I feel like this is definitely somebody who again left out left you out or maybe you left them out in the cold before, and this could be an earth sign, okay? But I do feel like truthful communication is coming in order for you to move forward in whatever door that you choose to walk through, okay? But don't walk through the door of woulda, coulda, shouldas. Don't sit your ass up and cry and let shit fall behind, waiting on somebody, giving someone that much power, because I can guarantee you, if they was doing this shit with you while you losing sleep, they out there busting it down. You understand? So do not do this, family, okay? Sis, bro. Do not accept three-party shit. You are way better than that. The divine is giving you new, new, and allowing you. Some of y'all gonna have a front row seat to see <laughs> this karma. Some of y'all might know somebody who worked at the job of another person because I'm seeing something have to do with work in a three-party situation, maybe with who you dealing with at work. Some of y'all might get some interesting news, okay? And it's not for you to be petty. It's just for you to know. That's the divine's way of letting you know. I got you, boo. No worries. Push forward, okay? They're going to show you what you thought you was missing. Can really turn in. God damn, I dodged that bully. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all dodging. Bull, big, big bully dodging, okay? Trust the process. And don't accept anything less than you, okay? I know y'all going to be mad because y'all, this is what I have for my mid-month, my Libras. I know y'all going to be mad like, Mocha, everybody else had a long video. Okay, well, look, let me tell y'all something. I could entertain the petty, but you don't know my life right now, okay? Mocha is going through some very strenuous things, and I'm having to be emotionally detached. I'm also having to be real stiff with, um... With my personal readings and the things that I do, because I truly enjoy what I do, but there are a lot of people who be trying to pull this whole uh, "Hey friend" card, but really, I'm an empath. You ain't finna, you can't play a play, and you won't pimp a pimp. Okay, miss me with that fake shit, because at this point, with all these dark phases of the moon, the veil has been lifted. Mocha seems smooth through the shit. I don't even have to know what you look like. That email will let me know if you bullshitting or not. Okay, a lot of people feel like um, I owe them, you know, going over their time. And so, um, well, I've been very understanding and very I'm going to continue to be understanding. I'm going to continue to move with my sage wisdom, but I'm not going to allow other people's opinions and what they feel and how they feel I should move um, to actually determine what the fuck going on in my life. Okay, because. If you walked in my shoes right now, a lot of motherfuckers would fall, all right? I'm an Aries. I'm a fellow cardinal like you, so we don't fall. We just feel better. And them bruises and them scrapes and them cuts, they hoit. Fuck hurt. They hoit, okay? They hoit. But when we move forward, the things that we see and we manifest by ourselves, so we are creators, cardinals, leaders. We create shit. 
Whatever it is, if sis, if you was trying to build a business and balance enough life and this motherfucker was out doing some crazy shit. Okay, but you can literally see the light at the end of the tunnel of your success. You have to pick one. You got to give something to get something. But understand, after what you build, after you build your fortress, you pick who sits in that throne seat next to you. This is your world, your fucking prerogative. Do you understand? I love y'all, and I want that to really, really, really sink in, because I feel the energy of heartbreak around my Libras. A lot of y'all are walking away from people right now, and some of y'all are walking away from eight-year relationships, eight-month relationships. Some of y'all are walking away from people who y'all have been with, hold on, some of y'all is 11 years, some of y'all walking away from people, places, things, jobs, some of y'all was planning retiring from companies but because of three-party situation at work you've been at this company for years and somebody rolled on you and got you out the door watch mother karma and just push don't look back at that bullshit because you might miss something going forward okay push forward trust the process libra i dare you all right i have a libra rising so do these cards have some to do what Mocha's life say. But understand that I have to do what I'm able to do in a lot of time. And the fact that I'm still going outside of everything that's that 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 is going against, you know what I'm saying, the beautifulness that I want to bring to the world. You hear what I'm saying? Around stability thing. Y'all know we family, so I ain't never gonna lie to y'all. Y'all know what time it is. That's for them other motherfuckers to do. We are family. You understand? Just working around a lot of things. And it's just me. You understand? So, sometimes it can be, be a bit heavy. I know I haven't been on YouTube going live. And I told y'all, when my energy is heavy, I'm never bringing that to y'all. Like, I'm sorry. I love y'all enough to spare y'all when I want to cry, when my feelings are hurt. I spare y'all of that. And I balance myself. I go back out and I go hug some trees and shit. Okay? But, y'all, I love you. If you just need to vent, even if you don't have the money for a personal reading, you just need to vent. You just need, you don't trust nobody at this point. You just like, sis, I just got to get this shit off my chest. Send me an email. It's in the description. We family. For those of you who this does not, it resonate maybe a little, just know the balance is coming back in your life, okay? Some of y'all could also have a choice, but balance is coming back, okay? And I feel like you got the Hierophant and a Justice card. I feel like for people who are married or have families, there can be a restoration in your relationship, but it's only if you speak up for yourself and know what you will or will not allow. Okay? And it's not easy. You know, Rome wasn't built in the day. America lied to us for years. But shit, fuck it. I mean, we still got to push through that shit, right? I love you. If you need a personal, hit me up. Deuces, babies. Thank <laughs> you.